Hello and welcome, this is Bulldog Games and today we're going to continue with our open AI chat GPT. Um, this is episode 2 and this is going to convert a text into a speech. Now, there's a lot of text and uh, text to speech softwares out there that you can use but this is the one that I found the easiest. So, the first thing you want to do is go up to edit and hit plug project, oh, not project settings. Plugin, sorry. The next thing you want to do is type in text to speech. Now, Unreal already has one implemented here, so make sure you enable that. Make sure the button's ticked. You may need to restart your um, your project. Once you've done that, that gives you a list of loads of different blueprint nodes that you can use. So the next thing you need to do is where you actually. So if I press play here where you actually write and ask your question and you click this ask button, it'll be in a HUD. For this specific game, it's in my infantry widget. Okay, what I did was I created a get to speech, so I right clicked custom event, get to text speech. I then pulled off that, and then, and then right click, type in text to speech, engine subsystem. Okay, and this will bring this box up. You then need to pull off this box, add a default channel, also pull off this box and activate channel, and then obviously pull off this box again and get a speak uh, a speak on channel. Okay. So once you've added them nodes in, pull off the new channel ID, right click and promote that to a variable and name that channel one. As you tell it, we've got it channel one, it's a name. So channel one to the new channel ID, channel one to channel ID, and then channel one to channel ID. So the next thing you need to do is if you're, it should start looking like this, yeah? So once you pulled off the activated channel, you then want to get an active of class. And the active of class that you want is your blueprint open AI. So if you followed the first episode, you would have this blueprint, okay? Once you've done that, in this blueprint, there is a string return text which is returning the text here, okay? So we're gonna pull off the return node and get return text, okay? And then bang it into the string to speak, okay? So any text that it gets, it's gonna convert it into a speak and that's how, yeah, it's going to, uh, it's gonna convert that text into a speech here, okay? So that's the first little bit of coding done, this section here. The next bit you need to do is in the blueprint OpenAI, I believe. So you've got your Ask AI 101 and your, o your API key and your start sequence. Okay. If you come over on the on the other video, it stopped at this branch. What we want to do is pull off this completion and put it into a for each loop. Okay, not a break, a for each loop. Then Pull off the arrange element. If you pull off, type in break, you can break, and it will give you this box. You create yourself this return text variable. So obviously just return text as a string variable. Okay, you pull it in, which should be a return text variable as a string. And then what we do, we get the third person character, get your, your HUD, and then pull off your HUD and get your custom event here. So it calls this custom event. You can do this for interfaces and things like that, but we're not gonna do it in this. Um, this is literally just quick and easy, just to show you how this stuff set, set up. Okay, so, and that's pretty much it. There is one more thing that you need to do because what will happen is it won't actually speak so the thing that you have to do is I've got it written down here you need to go to project settings okay you need to type in on project settings submix okay so you need to go submix and it will give you this master submix here yeah okay I think it's the master one yeah what you want to do is click on this button here and click edit and what this will do is it open up that blueprint okay 
and what you need to do is uncheck this box normally this box is checked but you need to uncheck this box okay and that will make it work so now if I press play and I ask it a question how old are you ask I am 22 years old okay so as you can tell it converted the text into a voice okay the voice is a little bit cranky you can update the voice you can go into that I haven't got that far into it just yet but you can update that voice and make it sound a little bit better um, the next thing that I wanted to show you which is quickly in the BP open AI is this start sequence here okay so what this is is at the minute it's just going AI so the AI is waiting for response from the player to talk you can input this into so if you want this to be um, a specific AI so you can say I want you to act as a vendor in my game um, you do not stop talking about spaceships and you always try and sell me parts of so and so it's a prompt pretty much you can put any prompt that you want in this start sequence, okay? And then that will, the AI, when you start your game, that's what it will start. So you ask it about um, spaceships, it will tell you everything it needs to know about spaceships. Um, and it will try and sell you spaceship parts. Okay, so you, you, you can get right um, experimental with this sort of stuff. Okay, there also was a bug on number one, um, where... Uh, it would ask the same question over and over again. So you, when you type another, once you've answered, once it's answered a question, if you typed another question and then press submit, it will read out the first question you asked. The reason for this was is because I plugged in both of these pins here. You don't need to do that. You just literally need to disconnect that off. Okay. Um, this, like I said, is a quick, short, simple video. Uh, the next one is obviously us be able to talk to the AI so our speaking will then refer to text and then what we can do from there we can then have a conversation with the AI without even writing anything that's the next part of this video um, I hope you like it thank you for so much support on the channel we are we hit over 300 uh, followers so uh, yeah well for subscribers uh, and I'm, I'm shell shocked so thank you once again if you did like this video hit that thumbs up hit that subscribe button there's plenty more in this series we're going to build this so it's a it's an ai in my game and it tells me what i want to do and what i need to do in the game and things like that um on that bombshell thank you for watching Bye bye